SRP. And you may ask yourself, how did I get here? What am I doing here? Well, I shall tell you I'm here to check on my crayfish traps. Now, I've already checked this one. I know there's a nice little haul of critters in there, which we will open up in a while and I will show you. But first of all, I want to rebait a trap and reset it. So what we'll do is we'll go upstream a bit, find a nice place to set it. I'll show you what to look for. You might see some in the water on the way because there is absolutely loads here and they've been in the news recently in the Midlands. They are really, really decimating our native crayfish and we are going to do our bit to stop that because the thing is, they taste amazing. Right, we will rebate that trap and we'll have a walk up the stream. What more could you ask for? Let's do it. Well, I can think of worse places to be on a day like today. What a beautiful English country stream but don't be fooled by this rural idyll as we know there are monsters lurking and to trap those you need one of these now this is a designated crayfish trap what you need to do is you need to find the stretch of water or river stream lake whatever you want to work send the environment agency your coordinates or draw it on a map upstream downstream and they We'll take a look at it, give you the green light, if it's okay. And what they will do, they will send you a license and then they will send you some tags. Let's have a look on there, see if you can see that. There's my tag. As you can see, environment agency, contact number. That's my reference number there. And my tag uh, for trap one. I've got three traps. Then all we need to do then is bait it. You can use herring, sardines, stinkier the better, oily fish. They love the smell, they thrive on it. What I'm using though, nice work if you can get it. Cat food, because this stuff absolutely onks, doesn't it? It's rotten. Maybe because I ain't a cat lover. Hey ho, selfish little things. Anyway, I digress. All we need to do is clip that into the inside of our trap. Like that, close it up, we'll clip it, and then we will go and set it in this beautiful beautiful stream we may see some lurking in the depths as we walk up so come with me time to go wading again lovely and clear and what we're looking for is you want quite a deep piece under the bank don't know if you can see in there there's that trap we're going to lift in a bit i'll show you what we got we're just going to move upstream a little bit and find a spot to set this one. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Now, if you can look very closely, you can see in there, between those two branches, if I can lift it up, you'll see there is a crayfish 
just wait for that to move. Can you see him in there? Let's see if I can grab it. I think you know you've got a problem when they're just out like that. Put him there before he grabs me. That is what we're after. That is crazy, isn't it? That was just sat in the water. You can almost go along and pick them up. Well, my friend, another one for the cause. You're going in there. Let's see if we can find some more. I mean, that's just nuts, isn't it? You're just walking along and they're out. I mean, this is really silty. I mean, don't underestimate these signals. You know, they are doing untold damage. Very prolific breeders, very aggressive. They carry the crayfish plague, which sadly wipes out our native white clawed ones. The SRP, look, live. We talk about field to fork, we talk about wild harvest. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. Now I've had my eye on this piece of water here. It's flowing in, but they nest in the banks, but I'm liking the look of this deep, dark, murky root system here. I'm thinking we'll get it in there. Yeah, I'm loving that. Let's have a look. So, that place looks favourite to me. So, it's a bit of a... It's either going to go in there, but I'm thinking it's knee deep here. I'm going to just put it in there. Just let it naturally sink. I can get up on there, actually. I want that to go on the bottom, the root system. So, if I chuck it out a bit more... That is set lovely and I will just tie it off on that branch. So I have just set my trap by that tree then. We will go and check on the trap from last night. I know there's some critters in there and we will go and have a look what we got. But how mad was that? I literally just reached down into the water and picked one up. You couldn't write this stuff. So I've already loosened that off. You can see it in the depths. Just give it a pull. And then, struck gold. Just going to have a look at these. Do you know I do the SRP? And I work full time. And I'm out here doing this and I'm thinking, what am I doing, man? This is the life for me. Stumbling around in a stream sun streaming through the trees and I love it what better way to get your food it's either this or we'll stand in a supermarket line I don't know hey ho so there's the trap we just raised in get them all down to one end there is some absolute beauties in here there, there's one. Grab him. Wait, before he has me. Just have a look at that for the size of a crayfish. Hey, okay. if I can get it in my hand, if you can see it there, without the camera going out of focus, he is quite a big boy. And the reason you could tell these are American signals, if you look over the telltale red claws, 
you can see he's got quite a pair on him so tempted to put my hand in but I'm not going to so that will go into my bucket and that will yield quite a good bit of meat he's not a happy bunny now right what a beautiful looking thing though but naughty an invader an American oversexed and over here what a way to live well my dear dear friends I hope you enjoyed that little video on crayfish trapping not a bad haul there's that big boy what a beauty that is but I'm afraid all good things come to an end and it's time to go back and join the real world so I will leave you with this lovely lovely view thank you for watching the SRP subscribe to my channel you know the drill also find me on my social media Facebook Scott Reed the Scott Reed project and on Twitter at the Scott Reed project so until next time when I do a video on cooking these all the best my friends All good things come to an end. Homeward bound, Scotty boy.